deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. What's up guys, it's Unders. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the transient processor to create nice fade in and build up effects rather than just adding transients and adjusting the transients on sounds. In this video, we're gonna use it to build up a drum loop and add some extra little punch through with it as we do that. So it sounds a little bit like this. Let's get started. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast, efficiently, and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. All right, so we've got these three sounds loaded up really simply. We've got a drum break, a drone, and some respace type thing going on. So the drone and bass are just in there so we can get the feel for what we're going to do to the break here. So on the break we've got loaded up the transient processor and we need to make ourselves a couple of automation lanes so we can just right click create automation here on the attack, on the drive and on the release. We're just going to hold shift and move these channels so they're all under the break. Something else you can do is just drag them up and then they're all going to be linked into that break channel. You could close them away, keeps everything nice and tidy. All right, so a big part of this comes from taking the attack right down like so. And by doing that, we're taking all the punch out of the drums. But as we automate it and bring it back in, it gives us that really cool filter effect. And this works a little bit differently than to just doing the classic EQ or filter sweep. Um, it gives us that feel of the transients being lost, something like we're going from the outside of a building entering into like a kind of a nightclub sound. So we can very simply just take this point, and drop it down, and just gives us a linear phase in like this. If you want to give that more of a feel of like you're suddenly opening a door and again getting the sound exposed to you, we're going to need to point much further up here. We're going to drop that right down and then put a bit of a curve in there. And something else we can do is just over push it slightly and get those transients to really poke through. So we're actually going to be adding transient material here. Now the other thing on the fade off is the release. So we can have that gradually fade in as well. So the transients that are coming through start to get longer and longer as we get closer and closer to our build. Play around with the curve and how it go however you want. We can do it so it sort of exponentially begins to increase here towards the end. And the other thing is drive. So if we can just add a little bit of drive right towards the end, so where we're just increasing here, it just adds like an extra slamming into the speakers effectively, that kind of feel. I'm going to do now is just shorten these down like this so that it happens just over that build and then we can hear for the second part exactly how that comes in and it will keep those leveled up for us. Let's check that out. Okay, so in that second part, the drums are now poking through the mix nicely, but the transient fades off really, really quickly. Maybe we want to have them poke through and last a little bit longer, but that's where we would use our release automation again. And what we'd then potentially do is actually push it a little bit above where it was before. So the release is in fact longer than it naturally would be, and it will help the transients that are poking through in the mix there just last a little bit longer and really punch through. The other thing you may need to adjust is something like the split frequency. This basically 
decides whether the low frequency is going to be getting through or not. If you've got a kick drum, for example, that's hitting really hard, perhaps you want to dial that up a bit. Um, so we're going to be quite past it in like the 200 kind of region here. I think the default is about 260, uh, so it should be skipping it anyway. But you might need to move that up slightly depending on what you're after. And then you can also look at adjusting the split balance. again, allows us to fade it off a lot more or make it really overpronounced. We can go the other way with it and we can do the same thing. We can create an automation clip for that and have it so that also dials in in a similar kind of way to have it go out and then perhaps sit right in the middle towards the end, like so. We can go the other way with it. And that, guys, is just a nice, simple trick with the transient processor that I hope has given you some creative ideas.